there anywhere higher we can go in the hotel? Okay, we do have the roof. It's so windy up there, I, I don't know. Can we go up to the rooftop? Now let's look at this timeline. Okay, first, to start off, I'm just going to mention that I got a light behind me now, so I can change it to whatever I want. Red. Blue. I think I'm going to keep it on green, because I like green. So this is Trump Cribs, a video that was posted on Benny Johnson's channel earlier this or last year, depending on when you're watching this. It's almost 2024 now. It was posted about mid-2023, uh, and it has about 500,000 views on YouTube right now. I don't know about the other socials, but on YouTube it has about 500K. And this was definitely one of the biggest projects I've had to work on just in general. It took a couple weeks. There was a lot of things that happened. And so we're going to go through and look at this full project and kind of just go in depth with some things and look at the video and explain some stuff. All right, here we go. Let me move this down so you can actually see the screen and the timeline. And let's start. Is there anywhere higher we can go in the hotel? Uh, we do have the roof. It's so windy up there, I, I don't know. Can we go up to the rooftop? Ah. You are looking down on every building in Chicago. Pretty much. <coughs> Man, I've been holding that because I sipped the water the wrong way. Okay. So, going back to the start here. So, you just watch that section. Now, we're going to go through and go in depth with what, what's going on here on the timeline. So, we got some some audio here going on of course audio we got some music going on here that is so it's pretty much there's contrast in the beginning right at the start it starts off strong music is high up building up tension showing you Showing you the the hotel is the first thing you see, right? A hundred stories up in the sky. And then it, the music dims down. And it's them talking. And, you know, we got some effects here. And I actually, I use this effect a lot. It is the dynamic, I think is what it is. It adds like a like a blur around the edges. I can turn it, and then also zooms in, adds a handheld effect, and you'll see that a lot throughout this video. And I liked using it; it's from Motion VFX. But there's contrast between the two scenes, and it shows them talking. Music goes lower, and it hits hard. Showing the hotel again, right? Duh, duh. And then it goes lower whenever they're talking. Again. Duh, duh. <laughs> and then it shows them talking again. And then they go up. And then I've got this effect here that's split screen. You're also going to see this more throughout this video. I like using this, this effect a lot in a lot of the projects. If you look at some of the other ones, 
you'll see this sprinkled throughout. And then I added the beeping effect of the elevator going up, which you can see right here. <laughs> and then it goes to the big reveal of being on top of the building. Right, showing how high up the building is and just how crazy it is being on top of a 100-story hotel, right? And then it goes to this piece, the music fades out, and then another track comes in. And you'll see there's a lot of tracks being used in this video. And I'm actually going to keep note of the how many different tracks I use here because I know I used a lot throughout this whole thing. So then we go into the next section that we'll watch now. Yo, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the top of the Trump Tower in Chicago. Greatest view in the world. Check this out. Yep, that's me. You may be wondering how I ended up in this situation. It all started with a guy named Donald Trump. You know Donald Trump. Trump builds buildings. You've probably heard of Trump Tower in New York City, maybe even Mar-a-Lago in Florida. But did you know that the Trump Organization owns a massive portfolio of iconic properties around the world? Today, we're launching a new series called Trump Cribs to explore the most famous and exclusive Trump properties on Earth. This series began with a text message to Eric Trump, the executive vice president of the Trump Organization. What's up, man? Very few people have seen inside your most iconic properties. Could we do a video? Shy town boy, roll through to Trump Tower, Chicago. Okay, so there's that section and going back here. So we got the music switch up to something a little bit more upbeat. Uh, just showing you, you know, explain that we're on the top of the building and immediately giving the person what they clicked on the video for, right? Greatest view, popping that stuff up, some zoom ins and some cool B roll showing the hotel going through cutting. And then you go into the graphics here that took a good bit of time to put together. You got the photo showing the buildings and stuff. And then highlighting this building. Going back, highlighting this building on the map. And then zooming out, show the world. And then explaining Trump cribs. So... I use motion blur all the time because it looks so much better to the eye of just seeing motion blur because if you look at this without it, I mean, yeah, it looks, it looks good. It looks smooth and stuff like that. But if you add motion blur, it just makes it look so much more appealing to the eye and the movement, especially if you're adding stuff, you know, going across, it just makes it so much better. I, I use it all the time, like right here, right? If there was no motion blur here, it, it just looks way better with, with the motion blur, right? That's why I highly recommend using motion blur. But so we're going through here. We got a tr different track going. Right. And then this took a good bit having to cut between, you know, use the right shots of the hotels and stuff and cutting super fast through. Let me actually show the, the timeline a little bit more here. Show through. And then you got the, the phone effect. And so this right here is actually a 
a graphic I found and then it zooms in and then you got the whole text message. Now I use adjustment layers all the time for movements, for a lot of stuff, right? Just adding effects over multiple layers. And right here, I have the, if I remove the adjustment layer, right? This is what it looks like without it. You see the, let me actually remove this one as well up here. So this is what it looks like. You got the whole text message that I built out, you know, going on here. And with it, right? Zooms out. I have to where it slides up each text and then a little, a pixel screen look over it, making it look like a phone, right? And then you go through this section and on to the next Chicago. As soon as we got to the airport, there was a member of the Trump Hotel staff there to pick us up. Trump Chi Town Cribs. Let's go. Nothing compares to the Trump Tower in downtown Chicago. As you pull up to it, it is just a massive skyscraper, a monster property. Cannot wait to see inside. 1,388 feet, the Trump Tower is the seventh tallest building in America. You can see five states from its rooftop. The original architectural design for Trump Tower Chicago would have made it the tallest building on Earth. But due to multiple challenging variables, those plans had to be scaled back. Once completed, Trump Tower held the title as the building with the highest private residence in the world, and that penthouse sold last year. Today, the hotel has 339 rooms, 2.6 million square feet, houses 486 luxury residential condominiums. The Trump sign on the front of the building is 20 feet tall. The penthouse sold for $20 million in 2022, and the cost to build it was $847 million. It has 27 different elevators. Okay, so going back through this section, we got we 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 we. All right, so we start off at the building on the map, goes out to America, showing off the travel sequence, quick cuts, uh, cutting between the B roll and him talking. Right, and we got a new track here, which I actually I absolutely love. This track. It's just a nice, upbeat, you know, really, really good for the video. I like it a lot. And so it travels from the airport to the hotel on the map. Right, more sequences and then another section of him talking. And then we get to the graphics. Now, a little backstory here. <clears throat> Actually, I got to add. So this is our third track change. All right. Third track of the video. So back to my story. This section was not here at first. Right. So after the first few drafts, getting the whole project complete, this section wasn't, wasn't in this spot. It was later on. So explaining the whole details of the building and explaining all of that was put at around like six or seven minutes in the video. But after watching it a few times, we usually look over the video and move it, move certain sections to different spots to try and make it as engaging as possible as far as the entertainment aspect goes, you know, have somebody to keep on watching and just stay interested inside the video. And so this wasn't in this spot. You just go straight inside the 
building inside the hotel. And so we have this here before we actually go in and see everything inside the hotel and all of that kind of stuff. And so this was moved around, which is a, another reason why I like the magnetic timeline in Final Cut is because you're able to move certain sections without, you know, if you do it right, everything is connected to the right spots without any issues. Uh, of course, you got to mess with the music and sorting that stuff out, but it's nice being able to move huge chunks of footage and graphics without massive issues as far as the everything being in place. So moving forward here. So we got this highlighted around right on the map. And now a lot of the stuff in here, I had to manually mask because Mroto AI wasn't a thing whenever we made this. It wasn't available to everybody, right? It wasn't something you can get. And so I had to manually mask each one of these. I can actually probably show here. draw mask right so each one of these were masked around the the state and now it shows that because i got all this stuff up top here so if i turn this off you'll see so that was masked that was masked right all of this masked masked and then I just colorized it, made it yellow, and then added, again, that one effect I liked a lot, the dynamic uh, from Motion VFX over it to give it that. Got the blur around the edge, zoomed in, and then it has that glow highlighted, right, with the sound effects as well. The ding, 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 ding. Right here. Original architectural design for Trump Tower, Trump Tower Chicago would have made it the tallest. So we move on to <clears throat> these other sections or show some B-roll. Not a lot of graphics here, just kind of showing the building. And then let me, let me go ahead and get rid of this. And then we go to this section, which... Oh man, if I, let's just say this, this part took a good bit to put together and it was a lot to process, which I'll actually get to that in a moment. So we got this now. I don't know why this isn't highlighted the way it's supposed to be. It's probably because it's inside. It's not fully exported. This is inside the software, but it's definitely... I'll pop up a screenshot somewhere of what it looks like. The fully full res exported version. And yeah, it's more, the outline's more detailed than this. But so again, there was no Mroto AI. So I had to manually mask the building separate so I can drop the rest of the city that was outlined and then zoom this in and then go into the the details. And now a small little thing here that you might not have noticed was, so obviously it, it writes it in, you hear it right here. And then you hear, let me select these two. You hear it right here, right? And then before it goes to the other title, I have a sound effect of like something being written down. 2.6. Right? And then you see the, the title. And then it's the same way with everything else uh, moving across. And so in your mind, you automatically think, okay, there's something being written down. We're about to see another 
title and then the camera moves. And so that's what, you know, makes you think again, you hear the, the writing. Right. And then it shows this and it's the same way through the whole sequence. Right. And it goes through all of this. You hear all the sound effects goes through and then it circles the whole building. $847 million and 27 elevators. It's a pretty massive building. <laughs> but so I had mentioned the processing, right, with some of these sections. It's really heavy. Now I'm looking at this on a Mac Studio, right, that I have. But I made this earlier in 2023, like mid 2023, I didn't have a Mac studio yet. So I had my laptop, my Mac book. And when I tell you this was, this was <laughs> absolutely like the fan was on the whole time, especially whenever I was trying to export in 4k, which this video is actually 4k. If you go look on YouTube, it's 4K and the full final export is 4K. I have it at 1080 right now just so it runs smooth on the system, screen recording and all that stuff. So it's as smooth as possible. Looking back at it, just you're going to have to you're going to have to trust me here. It's 4K. I have proof. Go look at YouTube. So I had this issue with Final Cut and there was some stuff going on as far as like the updates around that time with final cut and there was some bugs, which I believe they've fixed now, but it would, I would be exporting and it would take hours sometimes to export the full project in, you know, 4k and halfway through exporting, it would say failed to export rendered three times at this frame. And it shows you the frame. And I looked up every single video on how to fix this. I looked up how to clean out, you know, the junk on the Mac to make it run faster, all this stuff. And some of the stuff would work sometimes. And then it wouldn't. And it would still do that. It would still say failed to export. And it was so frustrating because I would wait an hour, hour and a two, hour or two to export. And then it would get to like 80% and then it would fail. And all of that's just gone. I have to retry. There's no way I knew. So if you do have that problem, the way I resolve that on my Mac is I would grab, if you press R, there's the range tool. And I saw this on a comment on a YouTube video that was showing you a different method of saving or exporting that wasn't working for me, but I looked in the comments and some person said that they had to do this for their project just to get it to work. So you grab the range tool and you select a certain amount of the timeline, right? So let's say I wanted to export this section, you grab a smaller section, you can grab half or like one third of it. And then you only export that section. So everything inside the range tool, it's going to export. It doesn't just export the, I'm pointing at the screen. Like you can see me, it doesn't just export what's in the range right there. It exports all the graphics above and all the sound effects and music below. So you don't have to worry about that. But you have to select the range of a certain section and then export that. And then afterwards, you put it all together in a, another project and then export that full thing. So that's how I <laughs> worked that out. But that was something that was the most frustrating thing ever. 
because it would just fail, 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 fail. And it was very frustrating. But, you know, we got by, we got figured out how to do it, got the whole video done, 4K, ready to go. But that was that was a part of the process that was very unfortunate in this project. All right, let's keep going. To the next section. All right, so here we go. And starting from here. There we go. After checking in and getting a lavender towel spritzer. Lavender. Anastasia, the Trump Hotel's marketing manager, met us and brought us to our rooms. Check this out. so much for a warm welcome. Absolutely. <laughs> yes. It's got the YouTube logo on it. <laughs> All right. Here we go. So now we we finally go in the building and you know, we got some quick cuts, fast moving cuts going through, going up the building. Got this effect for 14 showing you and then here is the let me put it down fourth track in this video that i switched to and it is very i switched to it to make the room look even more majestic and i think it helped so this is the track we're working with And you want to try your best to cut with the music as much as possible as far as B-roll goes. Now, a few times it's a little bit iffy because if it's like voiceover and they're talking about something specific, then you kind of got to like mess with it and you still want to put the B-roll when they talk about it, but try and keep it on beat as close as possible. But for stuff like this, you know, you're able to see it's on beat. Cut. And then it fades out. <clears throat> and I have this on Cathedral. And then... Right, so it shows... I've got it. I've, I have a black pro mist effect. So let me get a shot. So right here, you can kind of tell, you know, it's blurred out a little bit on the highlights to kind of give it a foggy cinematic dreamy effect. Right. Showing him talking about it. <clears throat> And then all of these are zooming out. It's revealing, right? All of those shots were revealing, zooming out. Same thing with that. That was moving back. Music fades out, goes to this section, and on to the next. Come on, baby. Trump gold bars. This room has a towel warmer. We've got Trump towels, Trump amenities here. Get yourself a remote. What does the remote go to? TV meter. Bring me to Flavor Town. A lot of incredible amenities to this room, but nothing beats this. Going back to that. We've got more of a 
you know, a cooler beat here. Track number five, let me put that down. Right, going through, he's pretty much just showing off the whole room, explaining everything. Very short section to keep it nice and just move on to the rest of the video, looking at everything else in the hotel. So you go through this section, got this cool effect with the, the camera. Right, add some sound effects. Oh, okay, and then there, just showing off the the room. Nice transition to the outside, the view, and back to this. Let's continue. So nice and quiet. It's quiet. So chill. After settling into our epic rooms, we went downstairs to meet sales and marketing director Joe, who will give us a tour of the hotel amenities. Good afternoon. Welcome to these two bedroom suite that I'm going to show you today. We're taking a look right now at a deluxe suite overlooking the river. To ensure the experience of a genuine residence, one will see here, of course, a private bar here. Let's continue on to the master bedroom. Note our bathroom right here. The marble throughout the hotel is actually quarried from the same quarry that Michelangelo used for mo his most infamous statues and sculptures. Let's walk now to the second bedroom. We do feel very, very spoiled with this location. Combine that with, of course, with the beautiful hotel and its services, uh, we like to think that everybody should come and stay here at the Trump Hotel, of course. Yo, man, I am trying. So going back here, the... Whoa, 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 too far back, too far back. Here. So we got track number six going on. Track number six. And this is a very hyped up track. Right. You guys VO over this. Very hyped up track here. That. Dude. <clears throat> and so we go into the, the hotel and we had, there was a few different versions of this section that, that there was, and we went with a more faster pace because he went in more detail about the rooms, you know, talking about the size of the bed and all of just different details. And we decided to make it nice and keep the energy that's there and just have short B roll sections just showing off the room wherever he explained says what it is right and so that's what we went with you know showing off the room the view and then same thing with the bathroom right he says the bathroom shows multiple shots of that and then showing the sculptures that it was based on And then showing this room. And the music fades out, getting ready to go into another section of the video for the voiceover. Yo, man, I am trying to get in shape, so I need to hit the gym. The gym at the Trump Hotel just went through a multi-million dollar renovation, and now it's a monster. Comes complete with a spa and a pool and a boxing bag. We were able to even get punched. I'm learning. <laughs> oh, yeah. Come on. That's it. I'm done. <laughs> After hitting up the gym, we needed. So we go into that section 
And we got the VO, you know, showing off the rest of the hotel, just quickly explaining everything else that's in there. The gym, all of these rooms, right? Nice hype section. And then music fades out again. Funny moment goes on, kind of gives you a little breather. And then we go into straight, just hype editing. And so you got a side by side here. I really like using it because you can show more at once, right? Different portions, different things. So that's why I really like that effect. And you'll see it a lot in other videos as well. There's that effect again. And then right here, I have it to where it zooms in. And I made the music um, muffled whenever it zoomed in here. So for instance, right? Just to really bring out that shine sound effect that, that was going on there. And then I used it. I and then I used M Flare, I believe, is is what I used for that for that shine right there. And then added diffusion for the highlights, all that stuff to make it glow. And then we got three here instead of two. Oh man! And then you go here to the outside area again, showing more at once transitioning into this after hitting up the gym we needed to eat and we went to the terrace 16 restaurant for a private seating with their world-renowned award-winning chef my name is Derek Baumeyer. I'm the executive sue for Trump Tower International Chicago and I run the restaurant Terrace 16. That is so much better than airport food. It's 36 ounces. Is that gold? Yes, that's gold. Thank you. Yeah, Jeff. enjoy it, right? Rock and roll, man. Yeah. So, transitioning into that section, another music change. Got to write that down. Write that down. Okay, so seven. Another music change into the building. It's got voice over here. And, you know, got some fancier music, fancy restaurant, slow-mo of them bringing out the food to really put focus on it. Explaining who he is. And then... Again, the side-by-side -side showing all of the meals and everything they got. And added this, there's this cool, cool effect of it, you know, go, sliding in and then sliding out. <clears throat> right, him talking and then faster cuts and then showing the kitchen and then the actual food. I thought that was pretty cool. Showing the food. You got some captions here. Uh, obviously, of them talking about it being gold. All right, and then it ends off, fades out into this section before day one is over. Yo, you got to check this out. Come in here. Came back from dinner. What was waiting for us? Our own Trump Tower. And it's completely edible. Whole thing. This whole thing is chocolate. Plus, come on, boy. This is our YouTube end slate. Sometimes this uh, career is so good, you just want to eat yourself. And if that's not enough, come here. First off, this is on the bed. You get a inspirational note. Believe in yourself. You are braver than you think, more talented than you know, and capable of more things than you can imagine. And then this, a chocolate. It's like a dark chocolate with some 
salt. I feel bad doing this. But somebody worked very hard to make to make a chocolate Trump Tower. Okay, there you go. There it is. There you go. That was tasty. It was really good chocolate. There you go. Our experience is complete. Taste test. What's up? Amazing chocolate. It tastes like Trump chocolate. <laughs> what does Trump chocolate taste like? Trump. What's in there? It's like a truffle on the inside. It's delicious. Let's see. Pretty solid. It tastes like freedom. I also kind of want to just do it. <laughs> oh! oh. oh. <laughs> so if you guys don't know, this is my uh, this is my brother. He actually has his own channel, Royce Chamberlain. You can look him up, find him. But yeah, if you didn't know, now you know. But he's the videographer, director of photography for Benny. But going back to this section, I'm not going to count this music. It is a change, but it's not a completely different track because we used it before. So we're still in number seven. But... He's talking about the chocolate tower, showing it off, some funny moments, cuts going through, about to get through, to cutting the actual thing. <laughs> and then he gets everybody, everybody else's opinions on the, you know, everybody else on the team. That was traveling with them. And then they smashed the tower. And then we go into this nice transition, which I actually paused before, but I'll show you now. We go into this nice transition from day, the first day, it looks like night, and you can see it transition. Right, so this is a uh, city night uh, ambience, and then daytime, and then it flips around. And it's got the text tracked to it saying day two, and so we can start here. Oh. Day two, we were invited to have brunch with Gabriel, the managing director of the Trump Hotel. Steak and eggs, lobster omelet, and smoked salmon. A delicious brunch, an incredible view, and we were feeling lucky. So we decided to see if we could push the limits of this property. Oh, is there anywhere higher we can go in the hotel? Like the highest we can go in the hotel? I mean, this is the highest really, but uh, we do have the roof at about 1400. Can we go up to the rooftop? Wow. This is one of the highest accessible rooftops in the entire world. Sorry, I couldn't hear you. My ears were popping. <laughs> there are no railings and there are no security measures. And so you need to sign a waiver in order to forfeit your life if you go up here. Winds of up to 100 miles per hour. This is dangerous. So you are up essentially as tall as you can get on a structure in America. Who's been up here? Well, Batman. Okay, like the Dark Knight. I'm Batman. This is somebody who's jumped off a building like this. You've seen this rooftop in Transformers, base jumpers. That's about it. And what you can see down below is something you've never seen in Chicago. The tops of every single building. Look at this, look at the bean. It's like a teeny, it actually looks like a bean, the size of a bean. It's wild, it's actually not as windy as I thought it was going to be up here. It's like a little bit of wind, but it's actually been semi-calm. This is remarkable up here. Ladies and gentlemen, if you get a chance, do it because what you'll see here is true American greatness, true empire, and it's something that we should protect. After traveling a hundred floors, we were starving and needing some Chicago deep dish style pizza. I texted Anastasia if she could help us and here she is. Anastasia? Okay, before we go into that section, we got Quick cuts going on here, going through, you know, VO, voiceover over all of this. And then he mentions wanting to go up, you know, add a slow zoom to him, to his face. Like, is he going to allow it? Is he going to? I guess we'll find out. 
And then a slow zoom here as it pans up to the top of the showing the height of the building. Then they go up and does this look familiar? It does because it was at the very start of the video, just in a different way, portrayed in a different way as a stinger or a hook, a cold, whatever you want to call it. But now we're back to this section throughout the video, the timeline, but with a little bit more footage and explaining different things like signing the wa waiver and all that kind of stuff and different music, of course. So we go through this section, showing all this, some more effects here, them going up the building, signing the waiver, and then going out. But here it's not as dramatic as the start, as you can tell, because music is everything. And so they finally go up there, and then he starts talking about all of this. All right, some references to well-known clips and shows and movies and all this stuff. And then he keep going, explaining how the bean looks like a bean. <laughs> and keep going, keep going, keep going. Going through here. And then finally on to, I'll start it back whenever this VO starts, to the, I believe it's the second to last section of the video, the pizza section. Let's start. After traveling a hundred floors, we were starving and needing some Chicago deep dish style pizza. I texted Anastasia if she could help us. And here she is. Anastasia? Mr. Johnson, how Hi, are how you? How are you doing? Good to see you. Thank you. We just went up to the rooftop. Yes. It was amazing. Amazing. But we're now starving because we had to take the stairs all the way up there. I know exactly what you need. How about the Chicago deep dish cheese pizza? Come on. <laughs> the best part about staying in a five-star property like the Trump is they have a house car. I'm here to take you on your pizza journey. Oh, wow. Amazing. I've been waiting my entire life to hear somebody say that to me. This is a vehicle that is able to take any guest anywhere within a two mile radius of the hotel. And that whip pulled right up to take us to go get some pizza. This is apparently the best deep dish pizza in all of Chicago. Let's find out. Okay, 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 pizza review, pizza review. There we go. <sighs> okay guys, I'm starving, but we're at the Trump Tower and I have my very own cheese pizza. I kind of want to recreate something from my childhood. Is that okay? Well, yes. what, depends, what are you talking about here? Mr. Johnson, your very own cheese pizza. After feasting on our own personal Chicago deep dish pizza, we slipped into a food coma. Actually, I'm going to stop it there because this is transitioning into it. So, the perfect timing because it, it was just Christmas and talking about Home Alone, but so we go to this, him talking about the pizza, added an, an effect tracked to his phone of him texting. And then this, obviously, it's tracked. And so there's talk about the pizza. And again, I don't know if you saw me, but I added number eight, track number eight used in this. Again, the photo effect going through with the car coming up some captions on a little funny spot hopping in the car more effects like that make it hype getting out of the car all right pizza all this 
And uh, what do you guys think about that? Tell me what you think. Put in the comments what you think about this pizza from first glance. Did they do good or no? I'll let you decide. Anyway, he got the pizza and gets back in the car, goes back, does the little bit of Home Alone. Right? Side by side, showing both scenes that they filmed. And woo, too far, too far. And then that's it for that section. So I'm going to start back at this voiceover. And let's go. After feasting on our own personal Chicago deep dish pizza, we slipped into a food coma. And when we awoke, we were invited to enjoy the fireworks from the balcony. The Trump Hotel in Chicago is a truly special property. And there's a reason for that. Ultimately, the Trump Tower is more than just a building dominating a skyline of giants in Chicago. It's a living, modern testament to the muscle of the American builder. The skyscraper itself is a uniquely American invention, a symbol of raw strength, grit, and empire found nowhere else on Earth. These beacons carve skylines across the land with one unifying message. We are Americans. Anything is possible here. Or at least it used to be. Many of America's most iconic skyscrapers were built decades, if not centuries, ago. Trump Tower in Chicago is 15 years old. The one thing that can't be seen from the top of the Trump Tower Chicago are any other skyscrapers being built. Where have the builders gone? When did we stop building great things in this country? The answer to this question is a simple and painful one. The cities that once defined American strength have been overtaken by movements that wish to destroy not build. These movements call themselves progressives, but it's a bad joke. Instead of creating progress, they enable destruction. They do not construct, they deconstruct. And this is why the American skyscraper is more essential than ever. It is a defiant message to the destroyers of civilization that America is still building, still reaching to the heavens. If you're in Chicago, go stay at the Trump. Let them know the great American builder ain't done yet. And that's it for the video. And that's it for the video. Last section. Hours and hours and hours of work. Finally complete. Anyway, you got the VO. And then it's nighttime, talking about the stuff. And I added some... Some sound effects of fireworks. Oh, yeah. And then a sound effect of kind of the city in the background here. And so you go through that. And then this section is pretty much just B-roll. This is like an outro to the whole video to wrap it up. Shows the graph again. Shows the B-roll. Skyline. Looking up at the sky. Americans. Circles. Some stuff here. And then showing the other largest buildings. Empire State Building, Willis Tower, Trump Tower, Chicago, when they were established. And then going around, showing more shots, slowed down a little bit, make it more cinematic, his words. More drone shots, stuff like that going through. And then this shot going down the whole building that we used towards the start of the video. Going up. And then again, I had to mask this out manually in order to get it behind. And then I added an outline so you can see it a little bit better because the sky is a brighter color. 
So if there was no outline, it would look more difficult to see. And then that's it for the video. That is Trump Cribs completed. Complete breakdown of the Trump Cribs timeline. And also, I forgot to mention track number nine at the end. There was nine total tracks used in this. I knew I used a lot in this video just for different sections and because music is important. So nine different tracks. But that's the whole video complete broken down, kind of explaining and going through in more detail through the whole timeline. It was definitely a heavy, heavy project here, but that'll be all for this video, and I will see you at the next edit.